This school is our school, a co-educational Catholic school in Sydney Southwest, which is in need of a literacy program reform. We have 800 students who sit in an average index of socioeconomic advantage value of 996, which is a major factor to consider when looking at literacy adjustments. They are disadvantaged in ways relating to family income and languages spoken at home other than English. These are factors contributing to their lower than expected performance of students in 2019 NAPLIN data. We want to support our diverse school community and this is how we propose to do so. Obviously, we have our languages across the discipline program, but there are still gaps in literacy data that aches for change to boost the academic performance and literacy capabilities of our students. As the executive team across the KLAs of the school, we have a proposal for you, the principal, to consider that we believe will help further engage our students to not only increase learning outcomes, but boost enjoyment, morale and their will to learn. Let us take you on a journey. Currently, as mentioned, the school is utilising the LATD program proposed by the CEDP, although we have almost completely altered it to better our students. So, in a nutshell, the original program leaves a heavy load on teachers taking time out of content teaching and putting it onto literacy teaching. It also requires implementation across stage four and five, where we are asking that it only be a stage four strategy. By creating this newly formed program, we are promoting the idea that students learn to enjoy literacy activities by implementing choice of topics, platform and response strategy. By ensuring the activities are relatable to each specific KLA whilst achieving the overall outcome, we aim to promote the communication and collaboration between all KLAs to strategize and plan accordingly. Allow yourself to open your mind to our proposal and see how wide we can take the students' learning opportunities. There are three specific goals that this program is intended to achieve. Number one, students will broaden their exposure to varied texts based on discipline. Number two, students will improve in their literacy achievements, including vocabulary through strategies implemented over the course of the project. Number three, students will be equipped with skills that encourage literacy progression after they complete stage four. So this all begins with determining students' interests within a specific KLA. Using the visual arts example, within the Choose Your Own Adventure activity, students are provided an opportunity to relate to the subject by selecting themes which interest them on a student survey, which is distributed prior to the commencement of the program. As seen on the little snippet from the Gantt chart, this would happen during week six, term four, 2021, in preparation of the 2022 school year. When designing the activities, the program leaders are to work with us KLA experts in weeks seven and eight to ensure that the themes and questions chosen represent that specific subject. Once the surveys have been collected and the literacy skill level of the students has been determined through analysing pre-recorded assessment data, program leaders and us as KLA experts are able to collaborate and allocate a text which reflects the chosen theme and matches the skill level of the students. For this program, we propose to implement various literacy tasks, which can be adapted for each KLA, depending on the type of writing that is necessary for that subject. Learning across the disciplines will allow seven main objectives to monitor students' progression of literacy in various methodical processes and levels, specifically the use, tell, show, explain, imitate, innovate, and distribute approach. Continuing with the visual arts as the example, Mythology and Art is the chosen text for the art teachers, completing the use aspect of the approach. The next task, Tell, involves an understanding of the text. In this activity, students will read through the content and explain it to other members of the class. They will also participate in a class discussion facilitated with questions given by the teacher. Teachers will observe what they have learnt and use this as a form of assessment of literacy skills. For example, 8A has visual arts on period two on Mondays and Tuesdays. They will complete these tasks in the first 15 minutes of the lesson and after reading the chosen text in their homeroom period. The next activity requires students to show their understanding of visual resources. In this example, it includes tiered questions for inferential understanding. Students will be shown a video and or transcript of the text during the lesson on Wednesday, and in addition, complete an activity during the successive lesson on Thursday. This will focus on each student's ability to take notes and refine important information from the text. Students must then apply their observations to their understanding and engage in class discussions to convey this. The next objective, explain, requires students to apply their learning from previous lessons to the activity through their own conceptualization of the text. 
This will enable teachers to determine the individual skill level that students may have as they can, must consider the main ideas as opposed to specific details. For instance, on Tuesday period four of week B, 8A students will use the mythological text to share on themes that they choose to discuss. The next step is imitate. The aim of this process is to equip students in recreating their own version of the text, particularly focusing on the structural identity of the literary work. Students must complete their own additional research before attempting the activity. So for example, on Wednesdays, period five for visual arts, students will bring their notes to class where they will be supported to co-construct a paragraph using scaffolded worksheets and help from their teacher. In the innovate stage, students are given the opportunity to be more creative in their writing. For example, in visual arts, students will be given an artwork from another class member along with its inspiration, the materials used and reasons for their art. With this key information, they will attempt to write their own version of an exhibition description as shown in this activity. The final stage, Distribute, is aimed to highlight the depth of students' learning of content and literacy progression throughout the time spent on each specific learning area. This is to encourage the efforts and abilities of each student. For visual arts, this may include exhibiting each student's writing during the art showcase at the end of term two. Throughout the implementation of the program, the teachers are to record the student engagement and interaction with the activities. These observation notes will provide the program leaders an idea of what the learning environment looked like, how students responded to the activities, and the strategies or support which teachers may have implemented during the tasks, overall providing an indication of the execution of the program. By providing scaffolded templates for these reflections and observations, teachers are able to separate the vast amount of data that they subconsciously collect during lessons into distinct sections. Students are also given the chance to tell us how they felt about the literacy activities. Leichhardt scale questions are included to allow students to rank their experiences. Prompts are also included to guide students through their thoughts and perspectives. Themes from these classroom observations, student and teacher feedback are then identified during the review stages of the program. At the beginning of term two, three and four, we have allocated four weeks to review and adjust the program based on the knowledge gained in the prior term. There is a consideration for the intense workloads of teachers by dedicating ample time for teachers to reflect and suggest informed adjustments to the program. This time will be used to amalgamate and analyse the data from the previous term through cross-KLA collaboration to help inform future practice for KLAs in the upcoming term. During the review and adjustment stages of the program, teachers will be guided through coding the themes into overarching categories such as engagement, achievement and implementation to organise the data into sections which can then be addressed based on future needs. We have also planned a four week block at the end of term four to prioritise planning for the following year and to prepare any new teachers starting at the school. This is another opportunity for KLAs to collaborate and share what worked well and what can be improved based on the data from the students and the reflections from the teachers over the course of the year. Looking at our project Gantt chart, it is evident to see the cycle of continuous improvement. Looking at the diagram shown, we can see clear steps undertaken in the cycle. These steps are planning, which allows us to effectively implement strategies. Implementation of strategies, which allows us to see the plan in action, as well as collect data and feedback. Analysis of data to find strengths and improvements. Reflection of teachers will allow for change in the planning period. These elements all come together as one to allow us as change agents to continuously improve the program and ourselves. Another integral aspect of improvement is engaging the teachers in professional development specifically around the LATD framework, inclusive technologies and literacy. This is seen at the start of term one and the end of term four. This will allow for new and existing teachers to continuously learn and inevitably improve. We can use our self-efficacy to undertake our own development. It may not be necessarily formal, but the continual collaboration and discussion of teaching practice aids in the critique of our own professional practices. This program has been designed to directly achieve its goals. By presenting students with professionally written and authentic discipline specific texts, students will broaden their exposure to varied texts. We have structured the program in such a way to provide students with multiple opportunities to hone their literacy skills to improve in the students' individual literacy achievements. 
This will ultimately equip students with skills that encourage suitable literacy progression after they complete stage four. Additionally, the adjusted program directly addresses and resolves the challenges occurring from the original implementation of the LATD program. So ultimately, we have shown you the why, who, how, what and when that is involved with our proposed literacy program for our school. Improving literacy across the subject is a program that is specific to our school community and is fluid enough to be altered for specific reasons. What do you think? Shall we give it a go?